Coming from the Hershey RV Show, we are now going to take you through the top of the line drivable Airstream that's out there. And that is going to be the Airstream Atlas. This is the Murphy bed setup coming in at 24.9, so just under 25 feet, 10 foot 6 tall, 20 on the fresh water, 27 on the black, and 31 on the gray. Let's go check it out. So, beautiful paint scheme on the outside. Really, really love this. This is a full body paint. These are not decals, full body paints are beautiful. This rides on a Sprinter chassis. So you have that great Mercedes-Benz dash sitting up there. These seats do rotate around. You have that big, beautiful display and all of those safety features that come with the Mercedes setup the uh, collision avoidance, the uh, 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 adaptive cruise control, all those things, cameras on the outside, all that stuff is all there for you. There is a nice storage overhead here with tinted out glass. You see, this is your sound bar for your uh, TV and stereo system built right up in there and a touch panel here. So you can work all of your items here, whether it's your lighting, uh, air conditioning, all that great, some cubbies uh, above. The driving area so if you're going to put maps things like that up in there so nice great use of that your uh, fusion stereo system so you start getting your storage back here first one is going to give you access to some of your mechanical features in here so that's going to give you your uh, clock for your generator your volta system and your timberland rugged refined so your heater is going to be this so you're getting a warning light so so also here is where you're going to get your slide out so this does have one slide because this is a murphy bed so this section from here to the sink actually slides in and slides out because contained in the rear here is going to be your murphy bed that will come down over the top of your couch for your sleeping so your slide access is right there it does have a retractable screen door so you can keep all those bugs on the outside and leave that door open to get yourself some nice ventilation and take. There are, uh, as you can see, a nice bag they give you with a couple of legs that would screw right in. You have an option for a small table here, a table here as well, and those legs screw right in. Tables pop right on top of that. These couch couches here are uh, power reclining. Oh, so I'm hitting the wrong button. Gotta hit the right button. As long as the bed doesn't come out and pop you in the head. Yeah. There we go. So now you have a nice spot. You can kick back. And uh, I would even say, oh yeah, that's good for me. Yeah, this would work. I can make this work. I can struggle through this. So yeah, so the, the, the couch actually goes to a full down position. So that slides out and that allows you to take the uh, Murphy bed and bring that Murphy bed down on top. Uh, mattresses attached in there and there will be a window on the back side of that. I am not going to put the bed down because um, I'm not sure how they have it set up for the, the uh, show here. A beautiful skylight overhead. So if you want to get ventilation, it has the option to use a screen. As you can see, you can open that. Or if you want to cut down on that overhead heat, we can go ahead and drop that and that gives you a little bit more shade inside. You have some overhead cabinets here with a passer, so if you have some longer items that you might want to put up in there, as you can see, very nice. Great hinges on this, LED lighting underneath, and in this area right here, this is where your television, your television would rise up. Let's see, get that TV to come up. Nope, they have it. I think they have it. Um, they have it set up so the TV won't rise at this point. They have some screens blocking this window right now, so I'm not going to mess with that too much. But this bag for storage, you have additional storage over here. So you can keep your remotes and all that great stuff for your television with a little shelf above. As well as access here to your fuse box. That's going to be your AC and your DC fuses and all that great stuff as well. You have a power plug right here. Uh, on this side, again, this is primarily your primary living area. It is ducted air conditioning, as you can see, overhead LED lights. Um, do you want to turn on the overhead lights?
got all the ceiling lights on it. So, so you can see LED lights on, on the overhead, smoke alarms, all that, and you have a very workable kitchen. Set up in an L shape with a nice big solid surface kitchen sink here, aluminum undermount sink. So there's a solid uh, surface with a spray head. This is a uh, uh, removable, as you can see. You have a trash bin access back here with a latch, so you don't have to worry about it popping out. That, that helps you pick that up. And this is a induction cooktop, so single burner induction cooktop. Additional storage over your kitchen countertop area to allow you to uh, store pots, pans, food, things like that. It has a shade, again, dark shade and day shade and additional bug. This is it's, has its own screen here, but it doubles up with the second screen. So if you want a little bit of shade, cut down on some of that light, but um, you know, you do or don't want to keep it open. Under here, you have a nice piece of extension. So it gives you a little bit more countertop uh, while you're cooking, you can set stuff down in that area. And then a whole series of draws. So deep draws, as you can see, they go pretty deep, self close all the way down through here to the bottom. Very nice. Great stuff. <laughs> On this side, again, you have a little tilt out. So if you want to keep your sponge, nice draw for storage and big cabinet, pretty deep. You can definitely keep your Instapot in there. They're also on the side of the couch. Hard to see. Uh, maybe we'll go to the front. If you look, you can see the controls. These are the controls for the couch. So this allows the couch to move forward. You have some charging ports. And this is how you put the uh, footrest up and down on your uh, couch. Rounding out the end of the kitchen in here, you have your uh, fridge. 12 volt fridge right in here. Nice size, and under that you have your freezer. So two two uh, shelf freezer, all 12 volt. Above you have your contour cooking microwave, and right above the cooking area, which I think is a great idea, is a fan so you can vent all that out while you're cooking. Uh, you have some cabinets back here for a pantry area. Your slide in and out airstream pantry with adjustable shelves right overhead. And there is also a door push down and that closes you off to the bathroom for your privacy. Can I close it all the way? I like pocket doors. Yeah. This door is back out of the way and latches so you don't have to worry about that rattling around. Now we're going to show you the bathroom. So the bathroom in here touch screens to turn on and off lights. So the bathroom back here, so this is a rear lavatory. Uh, bathroom back here is actually relatively spacious. You have a nice aluminum bowl. Again, that solid surface countertop area. Um, some great aluminum touches under ca uh, counter storage. Not huge, but enough to store some of your items as needed. There's gonna be a medicine chest above here for all your bathroom necessities. You have a huge cedar lined storage area here lighted you put all your bedding and all a closet with adjustable shelves which is a great feature and then there is a second closet back here for wardrobe so look at this closet you have a bar adjustable shelves and you have something spunky slide out drawers here that allow you all this access to put clothing things like that there are nice sliders and the full width slider so allow you to pull that all the way out for a storage uh, space and again that's cedar lined really really nice shower is a corner shower backlighted with an overhead and these doors I feel like uh, like a nice acrylic plastic they have a travel latch to keep them closed you have a uh, flush for the toilet you can rinse the toilet and a yeah, plastic foot flush toilet. Yep. Nice rack over here. Hang some towels and additional storage. You have a great fan right above. 
air in the ceiling so you can actually vent this all out when you're taking that nice warm shower you can go ahead and vent out that bathroom so you don't have all that moisture sitting back here but for a, a b plus uh camper as i would call this uh this is a great use of space some great features some great finish that uh definitely a uh a great looking unit in the extreme line they knew you were coming One concern, no uh, bike? No, they, it's removed, we can put a bike around now. Okay. So this one popped open. There's your wet, wet bay. So on this, so this is equipped with a macerating toilet system. So yeah, that's your macerator right there. So it uh, helps with the uh, removal of solid waste via maceration. You have your wet bay hook up here. So you have your uh, city water inlet and exterior showering area. A Zamp solar hookup right there underneath and this is where you click in your smart uh, connection for your power setup tucked up underneath this uh, this uh, device right here this, what do you want to call it lid door patch it's been a long day huh? we've been looking at some of the bees because you know you never know when in the future you may want to have something a little bit smaller just to get around real quick for weekends or you know shorter trips bees were way too tight for me but this b plus i can see myself traveling in this and living in this for long periods of time we're not crazy about slides but it's the price you have to pay if you want a little extra space very nice high quality uh you're not losing anything if you go into something like this i would consider this the perfect couples touring coach we hope you enjoyed our tour for the 2022 hershey rv show try to bring you some good stuff and remember if you like those videos go ahead and give them a thumbs up make sure you leave comments down below hit that bell icon notification so you know when our next video comes out and remember when you're out there looking like do it hitched up